Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Prismata. Let's get started on another game. Well, let's get in the queue. I can't really help when we get started, because it could be hours before we get matched, but it seems unlikely. Should get something soon. In the meantime, there is one game on TV, so we'll watch it. <clears throat> Sampo vs. Fu. Alright, I guess he's Fox is, uh, the name he uses on Discord? I, I don't know, like, this is obviously not a name meant to be pronounced. So we'll, we'll call him Fox. What is going on here? There's a Winter coming in. That's pretty important. On both sides. Oh, this one's ready, in fact, but is not being clicked. Interesting. Sometimes it can be correct to not click a Winter. Um, if it's not going to win you the game, and it's going to leave you in a losing position, then you shouldn't click it. Uh, of note here is this guy cannot fire his Windsor because he lacks five drones. That seems pretty serious. I guess, yeah, if you're like, if you're doing four damage but threatening like 20 more, your opponent probably has to play non-optimally. So there's something to be said for like, just leaving that threat hanging over their head until they prove to you that, like, they can do something. Right, this guy is dealing, like, one damage per turn. We don't need to click the Windsor and all the Drakes to actually beat him, right? Because we're doing four damage per turn? With the Drakes? Yeah, okay, I think Fox has won this game. Um... This guy's gonna be able to threaten Winsor though, and when he does, like, what exactly are we doing about it? Is he gonna be able to? Oh my, I haven't even looked at the advanced set, I was just looking at the board state. Uh, Blood Pact is a thing. Well, you obviously cut another Rhino if you're gonna and play another Blood Pact, right? Kalento, greetings, Kalento. Base plus nine. Uh, wow, this is a heck of a green-blue set. Uh, am I gonna go Dead Eyes again and lose to him again? Uh, I mean, a Starry Ven, like those sort of synergize, but I think that with Centurion, like, you should be able to get to Centurion in time to deal with the bench player, right? And on the way there, you probably want to get Deadeye, right? So it's like a Deadeye, and then some Oride cores, and then finally the Centurion kind of game. And like, you won't have that many drones left after the Deadeyes have gone at you, so you might not be able to get Asteris, but you can get like, Drakes help you tech back down out of all the excess blue that you can't spend anymore. So in the Deadeye, do you go, um, you don't go third engineer here, but, well, actually I think it's player one you do and it's player two you don't. Triple drone and then like drone double blast forge is probably okay. Oride cores can sort of help supplement your income, also, to make um, the Deadeye... Um, what's the word that I'm thinking of? Not deficit, but uh, you know, the, the effect that Deadeyes have weakening your economy, uh, to, to minimize that effect, right? You, you can still have a large-ish economy. Um, even after Deadeye has killed, you know, half of your drone supply, if you can um, have attack producing gold for you. I'll probably need to get a conduit like next turn, because I'm getting my like, wall or I core conduit drones. 
Yeah, this seems alright. Do I want the conduit yet? Green's, green's good. I'll take some green. If he tries to go too much into attack, then... Uh, I can just... get a Centurion at that time. Here's the thing, though. I kind of want to use this Ori Core. Like, I just sort of built it because I'll want it eventually. Um, but it could be worth, at some point, building, say, like, a Drake and another Ori Core on some turn to act as, like, four drones. Like, if a Drake is four drones, it's pretty value. Four drones that can later turn into attackers as well. The trick is I need three blue to get to that, or have some other turn where I spend an odd number of blue, because you need to get a second Oride Core for that to be value. Um, which is hard to do with Dead Eyes, right? But I think I can get a third blue to have like a Dead Eye Oride turn, or I guess a Drake Oride turn, and then later I can just sort of Drake away my my Spare Blast Forge, right? So I'm thinking something like this. Next turn we Drake Oride. And I think it is like Unavoidable. You'll need an Animus at some point. You're already so close to the tech and the gold for Centurion. There's no excuse to not get one, even though there's no other red here. Like, Tarsiers are fine. They're not great. But uh, Centurion is, is worth the investment. Seems good. Yeah, a Steri, sure. I am, for now, perfectly happy to just have a wall. But I will want um, a Centurion pretty soon. I'm thinking, like, next turn, so I want this. Hmm. I'm out of drones. I guess it's time to build a Gauss Cannon? To feed this Oride Core? Sure. Next turn, I'll have not 27, but, uh, or not 33, but 3 less than that, so 30 bucks. Which is Centurion plus Tarsier plus some other blue, maybe an Oride Core. I guess. And then I can start buying Asteris. Hang on, let's cut this drone and get more green so I can get Asteris, because they're going to be pretty, pretty cool. He doesn't have Oride cores, so he like actually has to attack me, which is nice. So we're attacking for 3-5 right now, and Oride Core might be the wrong idea, but I think it's okay. We're wasting one attack, which is kind of a bummer. But I think it's better than just attacking him for not very much. 
And I have, to, I have the, I mean, okay, so let's suppose I did this and chose not to use the Ori Core. Two, three, four, six, eight is what I'm threatening. He has to do something about that, right? He has to defend. Well, no, three, five. He'd have to put out like one point of defense, a force field or a wall or something. I think, and, and and that would just be like compensated for by like my spending the pixie. So it's not so great. So I'm just gonna do this, drone up, and then uh, next turn we can start doing more serious stuff. I don't really want more tech than this uh, because I don't I don't really have 28 income. Soon, that income will be taken away, spent on um, eight of that income is going to vanish, right? When I want to start actually attacking him. Oh, I miscounted. He has he has enough that oh no eight. Nine would have been a bit of a problem for him, right? Okay, Venge. It's kind of spooky. Maybe I shouldn't be thinking about Asteris, but about Chieftains. As, like efficient defenders that I'll want soon. Now, next turn, we're going to be threatening 2, 3, 4, plus 8 is 12, 14 damage. The defense that he has is three, five, seven, plus his uh, Centurion is... Oh, he can't Centurion next turn if I do this. I'm just threatening too much damage, right? So let's let's make maybe cut some Tarsiers to, to make things even harder for him. Right, because I'm threatening eight, ten, twelve. 13, 14. I guess he has to hold the splitter back. I'm threatening more damage this way, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus eight is 15, 16. He has 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, plus Centurion 6 is 16? I think this is kind of a problem for him. I'm going to try pushing extra hard right now. Uh, can I push just a little harder with Venges instead of Patroller? Or maybe like Rhino, Patroller, Venge. Can I squeeze in one more dollar somehow? That would help a lot. Not really. Okay. Let's build some NGs then. Oh, fuck me, the Asteris. I forgot. we're going to push like as much as I can here. Which I think is something like this.
Okay. It's still not clear to me how this is going to turn out. <laughs> Could go either way. Um, but I'm definitely not happy about having so few walls, of course. So few blast forges, that is. Like, he has to force field to survive here, right? Rhino does not cut it. Oh, no, I'm only attacking 16, not 18. So Rhino does work. Although I exploit him by not clicking the pixie, I think. I would have loved, of course, to replace the Blast Forge. Uh, but the patroller puts on as much threat. Oh, I don't not click the pixie. I click the pixie, but click Oride Core as well, perhaps? I guess it depends on what, what I want to do. What, what I can do with that money. Although, I'm attacking for 16 right now, which is the amount that exploits him, right? So I should not throw away any attack. Oh, and he can do this. He can click his drake to kill my patroller. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, so I, I can exploit him, but I have to, like, spend the pixie for it. Wow, I have no money. So this is a mild exploit. It means he keeps... If he wants to keep his Rhino for attack, then he can't get maximum absorb here. This keeps all my attackers alive. Hang on, should I actually click the Drake here? Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, I want to kill the Rhino. In a way, clicking the Drake doesn't make any more threat happen, because I'll just be attacking for two less next turn. But since it kills something important, i.e. the Rhino, or makes it awkward for the Rhino to live anyway, I think it's a good idea. And this is sort of my last push. I think he's like about to beat me if I can't get him here. Yeah, and I totally can't. Oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, I think I'm just dead here. I don't know, I mean, he's not attacking that much. But neither am I, and he has way more money. And of course, like, this is a an issue, and he has these Asteri clicks. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure I'm losing here, but I'll stick it out a little while and see if something interesting happens. I mean, like, having, having no walls... Kind of a bummer. Uh... So he really does have all this threat. He's currently keeping six health worth of stuff alive, and I can't make him keep any less. So that's like all these guys. So he's not losing any attack. He has 19 damage. This defends. NG. There you go. I mean, 
you can't double wall every turn, but it doesn't really need to, right? Oh, those Asteri clicks are killing me. If I had not made that mistake... If I... If I'd realized he had these clicks available, I might have not made that, um... That aggressive push that I made. That's an odd emote. Um, that didn't work out. Right, I thought... I could make him pay a very high cost to get his Centurion out on this turn. And I committed everything to that plan, right? You know, mainly that was the Venge Cannon instead of Tarsiers um, that made that difficult for me, right? This, this is very expensive. You, you should only do it if, like, the, it can be productive. I could have built a lot less pressure this turn, Right, I was thinking about something with Chieftain and Tarsiers um, to build like long-term defense for myself and long-term attack for him and continue making use of my Oride cores for a little longer. I think, right? Two, three, four, five, six, eight. So, okay. The Oride cores wouldn't have been great, but they would get under his Absorb Barrier, right? So like, they're, it's, a, it's probably okay to click them. Uh, although maybe better still would have been the last dead eye here. It's probably too late for dead eyes. When your opponent has two Asteris, you probably don't want a dead eye. <laughs> uh, I think I'm probably still in bad shape here, just because he has like more attack with these Asteris, and he has like importantly defense with the Asteris as well. Um, but if I hadn't done the the aggressive all in. I certainly would have, it would have been a closer game. Um, this was a very committal thing, taking advantage of an opportunity I thought I saw. Uh, I, you might argue that these engineers were wrong. I didn't really have time to think it through once I came up with this idea of how much pressure can I put on. Uh, and I just had some money left and was like, well, I'm gonna need to be able to defend myself because he has a lot of attack. Uh, so how about some engineers to leftover money? Maybe floating the money could have gotten me something more useful next turn that could have made this plan work out a bit better. Um, like, let's suppose that I had four more dollars. What could I do? Well, I could uh, cut that engineer, build another wall. I'd have a net of one more health this turn. Doesn't seem that important. I should have, by the way, force fielded here. Ah, I could have... Wall and force field. That saves the patroller, which helps a little. Right, because I have like one more attack. Um, but as you can see, one more attack wouldn't have made a humongous difference this turn. So I, I think that that slight improvement would not have helped. It was just the general, the overall plan of this single high pressure turn uh, was not destined to succeed. So let's, let's look more broadly at the game now. So first, of course, yes, we all want a lot of Econ and we want Dead Eyes. And I think I was right to work in some Oride cores, but on the other hand, he was right to build some Asteris, right? Like, they're a pretty good unit. Um, they forced a slightly earlier Centurion out of me than you might uh, desire in this set. And he timed them well to use up his green just before he wants to spend it on Centur Centurion. Pick picking up the second conduit at the right time was, was pretty good by him. And I just didn't really have enough attack. I was focused on like building more economy with Oride cores. I sort of thought the nobody attacking each other phase of the game would last longer than it did. They didn't produce great value. Like, I got to click them all, what, once? Yeah. And then immediately it was like, you know, you gotta kill him. I could have, you know, continued trying to use them, but... You know, I wouldn't really have that much more economy than him, and he has way more attack. 
So, I don't know. Maybe it would have been better to forget all this Oracor nonsense and just, um... Work in more Dead Eyes. Like, for example, just build a... S no, no. I'm not sure. Because, like, I kind of want one Oride Core when I'm building a wall here, I think. Because it's going to be a while before we attack each other. And I can build, like, a Borehole Patroller at some point to make use of that, right? But it's sort of hard to do when I'm also building Dead Eyes. So you have to build a third blue. And when you're building a third blue, you want Drake to get rid of the extra Blast Forge. And so, like, you need a second Oride Core. And so if I want any Oride cores at all, I kind of need to do all of this stuff. Which is a pretty big commitment, I think. So that's an argument I shouldn't have done. It. And then, of course, it's like, well, uh, what am I going to do with this leftover blue? There's nothing very appealing. So I don't know. I just let him get, I think, too far ahead in attack. And it all came from, like, this one Steel Splitter that he built, which I thought looked kind of dumb. Also, like, why wasn't it a Borehole Patroller? I guess he thought he needed that green. But, like, a Borehole Patroller would have been... nice because... Well, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? He, he was able to block on that Steel Splitter a bunch anyway. And, in fact, better than he would have on... Well, yeah, okay, I, I guess he's right. Oof. I think I played the pressure turns reasonably well. Like, they were just the wrong idea. And I would, if I were trying to find a way to improve this game, it would be like, don't do this Oride Core nonsense. Just get more Dead Eyes with, with your blue. Because we ended up missing one, right? And as a result, I got more gold for a little while instead of attacking. Which is like, okay, sure, that's some value. But he got more gold, like, forever, because I didn't kill his drones. Just didn't work out well. Not a good trade-off. So, of course, we're going to get in line, try another, uh... Try another game. What's on TV? M. Sklar versus the Trump Wall. Sure. Whew. How did this happen? The guy with the Apollo should be in good shape, since the Apollo seems to actually be getting built. Like, the main problem with the Apollo is that it might not get built, right? You get pressured too much. But we don't seem, like, that far behind. Yeah. And, like, the Reservoir is going off? That seems pretty serious. Ex Yotsuba. It's player one. And base plus eight. What's the deal here? Is there any, like, major threat that counters Odin, or, like, some reason why that's not good? You could try Scorches, but I don't think that's a great idea. Also, Galvanius should support the Odin plan. And Arca sort of supports it a little. Like, either player can do it, but the one who has three blues is going to be happier about it, right? Yeah, so I think, like, Scorch is the other main plan with, like, Ossified Drones to help you survive the Odin pressure. And I guess I could believe that that might work. Galvani helps that plan also. But, yeah, that seems like what he's going to try. No. Okay. He's going High Econ also with a Galvani Drone. Fourth Engineer, like, because of the Galvani drone, right, is just an improvement over the ordinary uh, Three Engineer plan. You have money floating, you might as well spend it on a Galvani. It, the Engineer will pay for itself by fueling a Galvani for a few turns. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's a surprise to me. I wouldn't expect this to be that great. Can this player ever get an Arca? I'm not sure. Hang on. Should any of these drones be Galvani's? Right, next turn I want to build... I think I want to build a wall against this, right? Let me just do it this way and look at it. We're we want two Blast Forges next turn. That leaves us six bucks and a wall. So I do this. Because he's not going to attack for quite a while, so Galvani's can, can live. I guess I should do this then, right? Uh, next turn we can... I don't need a wall so much as like a steel splitter. Would be okay also if I can swing it, but... You have 20 bucks, two Blast Forges, steel splitter, harvest drones... Drone, or Galvani still doesn't get me there, does it? I don't think you can squeeze in a wall like you could with Auric Impulse. Twenty bucks. Minus sixteen. Yeah, I guess you can. You can get a wall here with two Galvanis. But that's gonna kinda suck for uh being a little easily snipable when you'd rather be behind a wall. I don't know, he's got a big scorch he's gonna be attacking with scorches. So he won't be denying absorb by clicking the Galvanis anyway, right? And in fact, I would not be surprised to see him get Arca. I hope I've counted this right. <laughs> I don't actually know that I can get all the things I wanted. But I think I'm floating enough. Right? Yeah. Is it worth attacking to kill an Engineer? Probably not, because it doesn't actually turn off his Galvani, whereas if he attacks me, it does. On the other hand, he'll be hard-pressed to defend the Odin, I thought. <laughs> Didn't expect to just suddenly win here. All right, I guess he saw that he was not gonna be in time, somehow? All right, well, I'll take it, I guess. Good graph, no one damaged anybody. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Usually, like, even if one player has Thermite forever, the other guy is, like, doing damage. This seems a little premature. Uh, make me prove that I can defend the the, uh, the Scorches is what I would do, but... Especially because, like, you put in two Tarsiers this turn, and you're attacking for a shitload. But, I don't know. Odin is pretty hard to defend as red. But he's, like, red and green? And he has Ossified Drones and Husks? It seems like he could survive a little while. And maybe he could do something to get an Arca? Like if he cut the Steel Splitter and built a Blast Forge? Or something? Or floated the money and then built a Blast Forge? I don't know. I actually felt like I was losing that game. Well, we can look at the replay, I guess. But not a lot happened, to be honest. Except for my, like, decisions about how many Galvanis to build. Um, this one here, like, this third one, actually, I think, was a mistake. Um, obviously, it pays for itself, so, like, how bad could it be? Um, I guess there is that, huh? It pays for itself, so how bad could it be? All it costs me is some Galvani supply, and that's only if he chooses to attack 
with his steel splitter. Like, I didn't know for sure he was going to have a steel splitter, but like, this is a plausible outcome. Um, if I attack, I don't know which of these two I should kill, but say Engineer, because I want to pressure him because of Odin. If I attack and then build an Odin, like, he can attack with his Steel Splitter to kill an Engineer, but it's pretty expensive to do so when, like, I have an Odin, right? He wants to be defending with this. So he might very well not attack with it, in which case this Galvani is great. It's worth at least two dollars, maybe more. Um, however, there are some downsides, in addition to the fact that he might choose not to let me harvest it more than once. Uh, which costs me Galvani Drone Supply, of course. You know, not a huge concern. You don't usually run out. But the other thing is that having three Galvanis against someone who owns Scorches is, like, not so great. Because they can just click one Scorch to kill all three Galvanis and deny you Absorb. That's one of the main downsides of a Galvani, is that your opponent can target it. Uh... Which is, like, typically not such a great thing to do, because you're just giving your opponent free, cheap defense. But if you can deny them Absorb by clicking Galvani's, it's usually pretty good. And with Scorch, you could do that. Right, get three attack to kill Gal three Galvani's? Seems okay. But it means the other Scorch is going to be off sync, and, like, I don't know. It might not turn out so great, but it's, it's definitely, like, a little worrying to see these three against this, right? Maybe it was fine. Um... Yeah, and then he resigned. I mean, I guess I'm threatening eight after this, so like his life is a little bit hard, but he's not dead. He can hold the splitter wall, click ossified drone. Yeah, but what does he really have, right? Like, it's easy for me to survive the scorches because I'm building the Odin before they arrive, and I can just build a couple walls. Uh, and he'll be under a lot more pressure. But, like, economically, we're very similar. It's not as if I have this huge econ, right? I don't know that my position is so great. He has Ossified Drones to build free defense with. He has way better tech than I do. Um, I can get access to Arca eventually, but if I do, I'll be even more overteched. I guess I'll, like, build an Ossified Drone, but... But, like, I just have all this blue I can't do anything with. I think he might have been winning this game. But, you know, that's life, I guess. Alright, well, that will do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.